No questions? I am sorry. If you have more questions, please feel free. Have there been uh, aliens who have been here for 20, 30, 40 years? Yes, and longer. Hundreds of years for some of them. A thousand years for even others. But some of them do not come back. We take a personal interest in you because we know that you're on the verge of your next evolution. It won't happen in a day or a week or a year, but we see that the energy of your brain has opened to telepathy. We are working with several humans to develop that telepathy even greater so they can train others to speak to us directly. I've spoken before, not to you, but to Max, about how we interact. And telepathy is our most vital tool in helping you survive. Because this way we know things that we cannot know as a foreign species. Does that make sense to you? Yes. You are like cylinders to us. You're closed off. But now that your telepathy is awakening, we have hopes of joining you as part of the galaxy. Or you joining us. So they have integrated into our society physically? Not as of yet. First contact, we, do, we are planning. There is so much to say about that. I am flooded with information. First contact is being planned very carefully with the help of telepathic humans, and they will be part of first contact because they need to be an intercessor for your species. They can not, not be there because you would be overwhelmed if just an alien looking species tried to make contact without humans coming first to tell you that they're here. It, does that make sense to you? Okay, so there a timing for this? Are you allowed to tell us the timing? There is much planning still to do. You are, as a species, not quite ready. There are too many deficiencies in some cultures that could not be overcome at this moment. However, your ascension of awareness and psychic abilities is bringing up the level of the earth. When this happens, fourth dimensional energy is released into the atmosphere from human beings, which is very interesting. You have the capacity for fourth dimension 150 or 200 years from now, perhaps. Not quite yet, but we see the beginnings of it. Does that make sense to you? I see there is a question on your face. <laughs> there is. Um, as before I said, we have a group. Yes. And we do try to practice telepathy. Is yes. there something that you could tell us that would help us practice telepathy even more? Yes. What could you tell us? The very beginnings of telepathy are intention. Your intention toward another. When you are able to walk up to someone and know what they intend, then that is the beginnings of telepathy. The intentions between your group are all very high. Therefore, you must find a way to 
camouflage your purity for a moment to see if someone can find evidence of a different intention. Does that make sense to you? No. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> you must find a difficult space in yourself where the intention is not good so that you can practice with each other. Because you only know your good intention to each other. It's true. Oh. Oh. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. Now, you may go into the world, and if you can feel the intention of those around you, do you think you can do that? There are many that can at this point. <clears throat> By facial expressions they know, by they can feel the energy of malintent. I believe you can do that. I believe your group would be able to feel malintent from a distance even. This is the beginning of telepathy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Practice these things when you go places, before you speak to someone, before you know who they are or what they're doing. Make a judgment, but then don't be harsh with them. Just make a judgment to see if you were correct. That's all. But do not judge them if their intent is not good, because we are all perfect in the eyes of our Creator. You must not judge. Judgment will come to you before them. Does that make sense? <laughs> I can sense in you all the wonder of the future, the wonder of getting things right, the moving ahead the knitting together of your species to be a whole and not just a part of who we all are. Because we are a community, yes? But we do not act like a community. Telepathically, we can be a community. Do you understand that? Because we can look at each other and know intention, we can know thoughts, share experiences, but you are separate from each other. And therefore, you do not know the inner workings of the another mind. Every mind here is different, the same with ours. Every mind is different. And if we didn't have telepathy, how would we ever know each other as a community. Does that make sense to you? Because we've learned to love each other as a community. Not all of us are even good or great people. But there's a good part in every one of us. And we tend to lift each other up when necessary to a level where we can communicate in a very good way. Does that make sense to you? Um, I'd like to ask a question. Uh, would you consider this um, telepathic or just intuition? Like, you, you're a person that has lots of love for everyone. Mm -hmm. But yet, sometimes you run across somebody and you start to go near them and you want to back away. That's the first part of telepathy. Knowing the intent of somebody that wishes to cause mm -hmm. negativity in the area or with you. That is the first part of telepathy you will be able to sense their energy mm -hmm. before they've even released it. I've had that happen a few times. This is the first beginnings. Does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. yes.
Can we change their energy by sending them lots of love? You cannot change their energy without their will being changed. Mm -hmm. Their will has to change by your will being of the light and love. Then if they see the things in you that they want, their will will change. But it has to be their will. Your will cannot control them. But this thing is, you're a cylinder. You cannot understand some things that are celestial, esoteric, because you are a cylinder. But we're breaking that cylinder with the light that is growing. Do you understand? The light will come through and telepathy will break through the cylinder. Because you, you can't stay there. You can't stay there. Can you speak a few sentences in your language? What would you like? Oh, can you do a blessing and then translate? Okay. Priyaka Shundarabokoti Aranda Tabasakashu Yaskuka Karanduti Apaya Nuta Totora Santikira Ronda Kalala Sukata Pata Waka Yalela Moragavi The translation would be I call down to you blessings. Let the earth surround you with joy. Let the things you lift up lift back. Let the awesome power of Mother Nature and the universe be with you. May you always be proud of the perfection that you attained. May you know that you are loved eternally. And let us be blessed together in our unity. Amen. Thank you much.